But we're headed to the gym right now. It's a deload week. You always know you're ready for a deload when you actually look forward to deloading, which I am right now. Um, during the workout, I'll explain a little bit more of what the deload is, how Oga 753 does it, what you should do, how often to deload, all that stuff. Um, but just to give you a little overview, it's three sets of five on the main lift, which is squats. That's all we have to do, three sets of five. It's 60% of my max. So I don't think I have to go any heavier than 225 pounds. So it should be a really short workout. I'll show you guys some of it and we'll see you there. What's going on everyone? Welcome to The Voice Over. So this is my first deload week on August 753. Typically the way it's supposed to work, you run the first four cycles, week five is a deload, and then you go on to the second cycle. However, like I mentioned previously, I didn't feel like I should be deloading right after the first cycle because you do take 90% of your max to start. So the first cycle is pretty, um, it's pretty laid back as it is, and I didn't really feel the need to deload. Going forward, I still think I'm going to run the deload every other cycle. But I'm not sure yet. When the week gets heavier, eventually I think I might do it every cycle. But for now, I think I'm going to try two cycles before the deload. But I'll keep you updated on that. So as far as the deload, don't go too crazy. The percentages that he recommends are three sets of five at 60%. So that's what I'm doing here on squats. That's what I'm going to do every exercise for the week, the main exercise. So that's very simple. Uh, yeah, you can see I'm falling asleep because it's really, it's really boring when you're not pushing any heavy weight. But... Basically, that's what you do on the main lifts. The accessories, he doesn't really specify, and you really shouldn't go crazy thinking about this too much. What I do on my accessories, I keep the sets and the reps, ex not the, well, I keep the sets exactly the same, and I do 10 reps, and the way I figure out the weight is I figure out what weight I normally could do for 10 reps if I wasn't deloading, and I take anywhere between 60 and 70% of that and do it for sets of 10. And the way I get the number 60 to 70%, I just... I don't make it difficult, so whatever rounds nicely between 60 and 70% of what I normally do for 10 reps, that's what I do for the accessory exercises. You could go a little heavier if you want, you could cut the reps, and like instead of 3 sets of 10 here, what I'm doing on Romanian deadlifts with 135, maybe I could have done 185, but done half the reps. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, the whole point of a deload is to give your body physically a break and mentally a break. So whatever you need to do in order to give yourself that break, that's what you should do. You could lift heavier if that's what helps you because sometimes people feel that if you a week of lighter lifting when you come back the weights feel too heavy. So maybe you do want to do a little bit heavier weight but less reps. It's really not that big of a deal, but you don't want to do anything that's going to burn you out unnecessarily because like the whole point of the deload is to give yourself that break. And if you're going to push yourself a little too hard, uh, that's not the point of it. I mean, you could even take the week off if you want, but I would only do that if I was going on vacation since I'm around. There's no reason for me not to go to the gym. I still do my cardio. Every, everything is the same as that's concerned. Calories are the same. Just the workout is different. But I'm not going to show you the training footage for the rest of the week. Just wanted to discuss the deload a little bit over here. So just to wrap up, everything's the same. Um, as far as accessories, just do 10 reps with less weight. 60%, 3 sets of 5 on the main lifts. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Uh, the video is not over yet. Paul and I do go for pizza later and some ice cream, so enjoy the rest of the video. Hit the thumbs up before you go, and thanks for watching. Well, it's a sad day. Uh, last weekend, I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I was hoping to get to Thanksgiving without having to wear pants or a jacket, but as you can see by the top, and the bottom, that has failed. It's finally cold, it's a fall day. It's not really that bad, I don't like the rain, I don't mind the cold weather, um, but we're headed to Blaze Pizza now, and we'll see you in just a bit. So we just pulled up and parked, and Paula got freaked out by this mask in the car next to us, and it is, pr so it is pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't just walk away, I'm scared of that that real person. <laughs> Going to Blaze. Our favorite place. It's so cold. All right, so we got the usual. There's Paul's. White top, mozzarella, chicano, and some oregano. 
And there's my more extravagant pizza with uh, its white sauce, mozzarella, oregano, spinach, banana peppers. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, chicken. Yeah, chicken. Barbecue sauce? <laughs> yeah, I said that. Oh, sorry. So we're going to eat this and enjoy it. The person who used to cut my hair is here. And it looks so much better now that she doesn't cut it. So. Hair <laughs> so mean. She did a good job. So uh, anyway, we're going to eat this. She's probably going to come over and start talking to us. So we're going to put the camera away. But we definitely will enjoy it. And we'll see you for Froyo. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished up at Blaze. Amazing. We were going to pick up Froyo and then bring it back to the apartment because I want to watch the Cubs and Dodgers game. Uh, are any of you guys into baseball? Because I like baseball. I like talking about baseball. It's probably the thing I like talking about the most. But Paul's not into it and I don't have any friends that are into it. So I don't have anyone to talk about baseball too. So anyone else out there into baseball, let me know. My prediction today is that the Cubs are going to win, beat Clayton Kershaw and go to the World Series and there will not be a Game 7. I hope that the Dodgers win today so there is a Game 7 just because Game 7s are like the most interesting thing to watch even if you don't like the team or the sport. Um, so yeah, I'm curious, by the time you see this we'll, we'll already know the answer who won the series but right now it's Saturday night, 7.56, the game didn't start yet. I'm predicting Cubs win but hoping they don't. Let me know if you like baseball. We'll see you at Froyo. Chick-fil-A, it's opening November 3rd. It's right there. It's like, it's like there. It's, it's there. It's dark and it's not lit up but here. You, it's dark and not lit up. I mean, there, that's, that's Chick-fil-A. It's, I wish you could see it better, but you'll see it plenty of times in the future because we're going to be going there a lot. And the best part about it, we could technically walk there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for your time. We live in like a YouTube heaven. We're walking distance to Chipotle, and now we're going to be walking distance to Chick-fil-A, so... Next thing we know is an In-N-Out burger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the Irish one there or not yet? Not November. Alright, so we're back from Froyo, and they did something pretty ridiculous. So, I had a realization that instead of getting the Arctic Zero with the toppings already in it, I got the lower calorie Arctic Zero so that I can get more of my own toppings. So I got this big cup of cheesecake bites, got like three ounces today instead of like the normal one to two ounces. So I could put it in my lower calorie Arctic Zero. But today for the first time when I chose, when I got toppings, the cashier looks at me and he goes, are those toppings only? And I said, yes. He's like Doo -doo 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 in the register and he charges me a whopping one cent extra per ounce for the toppings. Look at this. So there's the receipt, toppings only, 3 ounces, 60 cents per ounce. There's Paula's, 6.3 ounces, 59 cents per ounce. They really need to have a whole special entry for an extra cent per ounce. Kind of ridiculous. So that's um, just regular chocolate peanut butter Arctic Zero with cheesecake bites. Paul, you put it next to Paula's face to see how big it is. It's pretty big. And what did Paula get? Changed it up a little bit. They have toasted marshmallow and salt. I mixed it up with salted caramel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got white chocolate. No, they're not white chocolate chips. They're white yogurt chips. Uh, cheesecake, some crushed Oreos, and whipped cream on top. Should be interesting. This toasted marshmallow. I liked it. Try it. <laughs> How is it? It's good. I like it a lot. Mm. Uh, and I'm curious because apparently the Arctic Zero that I was eating, the Brownie Blast, I think it's the same ice cream. It just has more macros because of the stuff that's in it, like the brownie and the chocolate chips. So technically this Arctic Zero, the ice cream should be exactly the same, but the um, without the toppings and me adding my own, it should theoretically be better. So let's see if that's the case. Not sure. The... It is possible maybe the ice cream itself and the brownie blast is a little better. So I don't know, I'll finish and I'll see what I want to do next week. And by the way, it's the first inning in the Cubs game. Cubs are already winning 2-0. So like I said before, I do think they're going to win. Hope they don't. Um, anyway, though, that's going to wrap up this video here. We're just going to finish this, watch the baseball game. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel spread. 
subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video